Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to part 32 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and today we're going to do the, I think it's a side quest, let's read it. Should be side, I think. No, it's an errand. Okay, it's this one here, Deadliest Game. Um, so I'll read this out to you real quick. Deadliest Game, errand, and Talana instructed Aloy to improve her standing in the lodge by bringing back Thunderjaw and Stormbird. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, do I want to do this? Oh my god. Oh, okay, guys, look. Um, we're gonna attempt it. <laughs> we'll try it out. But um, I don't know if you remember the last video. If you watched it, we were to um, take on some snap moors and glint hawks. On the way to the quest, I got attacked by a Thunderjaw. And, uh, it, I mean, it didn't hit me, it hit my mount, and my mount nearly died. But anyway, we'll give this a try, but that's the quest. It's one extraordinary reward box, I don't know what that's about, and 6,000 XP. So we're going to do this. However, just show... Oh, jeez, not that. And just want to show you what I got. I did get a rope caster because we got a snap more heart in the last episode so i decided let me try this out a shadow rope caster i don't know how this works um but it's interesting i'll read this out to you because this looks like it'll be very useful this weapon is used to tie down machines and immobilize them larger targets require more ropes and attacking a tied machine will reduce the immobilization uh, immobilization time can be modified but what do I put in this? I, uh, anyway, let me let me put this here. What can I modify it with? <laughs> well, tear call, I guess. Guys, the only thing is, I need some handling on this, and I've got no freaking handling. God damn it, man. <laughs> that really sucks. Okay, I'm not going to use my purple. I'm going to put two of them there. Well, I guess we can put one more. I don't know how this will actually help, but uh, we'll give it a try. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys. We'll give this a shot. So what ammo does it take? 10 wire. Whoa, that's expensive. All right, anyway, guys, what we're going to do before we go and see um, Talana, we're just going to open this. I'm not going to do this now. I've got all the best goods here. So let's talk to this dude and see what's on. Shadow. You're the Nora who saved the Sun King. They say you tracked the Asaram assassin with your second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. All right, thief. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. <laughs> scared the shadow. Okay, sword? Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. <laughs> That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. Nephew? How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. All right, I'll investigate. We'll do this on another day. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian? And my family, for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Robbing the rich. So that's open up a brand new side quest. All right, so guys, I'll meet you at the Hunter's Lodge. Hey, guys, we're back. Okay, deadliest game, talk to Talana. 
This... This is a good day. Uh, why? <laughs> Redmoor? A cease? What's Redmoor? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, a cease will not let anyone mention it. Oh gosh. Okay. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet, as soon as I leave the Sacred Lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. <laughs> True. I'll remember that. Alright, what's this about the massacre, though? What happened in the massacre? King Duran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sun Ring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring, too. Shit. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. Gosh, that sucks. What happened to the men in the sun ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. Gosh, that's sad, guys. All right, so what now? Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a thunderjaw and a stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Oh my god, what? Guys, what have I got myself into? Oh my god, I don't know anything about these new machines. I'm already struggling with ravagers and um, bloody stalkers. Now, a stormbird... Look, guys, give me a sec. Okay, do you remember when we first got to Day Tower? Do you remember um, I took my mount, I was riding... Right, there it is, check it out. See, it's not coming up as highlighted because I just ran away. So basically, we were coming down here on the mount. I was making my way this way, and we got attacked by this gigantic aeroplane of a machine. It started shooting stuff at us, but I didn't look back. So I think that's what a, st a storm bird is, right? Guys, I don't even know how to fight that thing. We haven't even scanned it. So there's a thunder jaw. Why is it telling me to go down here to gather a trophy? That's too far. Uh, guys, what I'm trying to do with my playthrough, I'm trying to open each section kind of one at a time. All right, look, I tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Let's speak to Legan first because 
I think we can talk to him. And then we're going to teleport near Day Tower and we'll fight the storm bird there. Anyway. Two new thrushes in one day. Makes a hawk proud. Right, Thrush, Redmore, and Massacre. Okay. Who else just became a Thrush? Ardick. I see him rising to the top very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have Ardick give you some tips. Okay, Redmore. Do you know where Redma is? I do not. Rumor of it spreads quickly within the lodge. As soon as it is spotted, it disappears again. Okay, more importantly, I want to know more about this the massacre. Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? <sighs> A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. He even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. And for that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sun ring. I shouldn't say more. That's sad. Gosh, guys, this King Jaran was such a, an evil man, honestly. Anyway, sun ring. Please, tell me what happened that day in the sun ring. Normally, victims of the Sun Ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our Hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. Nightfall? What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. And how did the battle in the Sun Ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Oh no. The brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. Yeah, they're heroes. They should be honored. God, that's sad, guys. All right, goodbye. I must say I'm surprised by your achievements, bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. All right, now, now, Aloy, let's not get carried away because <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if we can do this, guys. On ultra hard as well. All right, I'm going to meet you over at um, the nearest storm bed. I'll see you there, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Okay, I just teleported to... I can't believe this. It's actually a sandstorm now. Now, there's a sandstorm. Anyway... There's a storm bird here. I can't see it. Oh, well, now I can. It's there. Come on, get it scanned. I need to know its weak points and shit. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is scary. Jesus. Oh. All right, all right. Anyway, let me calm down. Highly maneuverable flying machine with a wide array of shock based air to ground attacks. Okay, fine. Weakness none. Great. That's wonderful. Okay. Blaze. Okay. It's got a blaze canister. I don't know how the hell I'm going to hit it, but whatever. Um, engine. Okay. Destroying this component disables the dive melee attack. <laughs> All right. Freeze canister. Where is that? It's on its arms, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So chill water can be a machinist canister with freeze arrow will trigger an explosion. Fine. Uh, lightning gun. Okay. 
Right, guys, we need something that will repel shock. So destroy this component. Destroying this component disables the ranged shock attacks. Um, okay, wait, sorry. No, get back. Jeez. Okay, outfits. Guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to switch to this. However, I'm going to change all this to shock resist. Right? <laughs> I hope this is correct. I hope this is all good. Oh, man, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Is that it? Do I not have any more shock? Oh my god, this sucks, guys. This sucks. Okay, um... Melee, resist, freeze, I don't really care. <laughs> guys, I don't even know what to put in here. Okay, let's put uh, resist ranged attacks. Alright, so hopefully this will help. I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let's try and shoot that. Did I even hit him? Guys, uh, let me try something. No, nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Wow. Guys, I'm getting my ass kicked. Jesus, will he get off my dick for just a few seconds? My God, oh, wow. Where is he? Guys, sorry. You piece of shit. This isn't working, man. What the hell? Or oh, maybe it is. Wait. Wait, did that work? That actually worked. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Guys, I'm just panicked. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Damn it, man. I Are you fucking kidding? Guys, are you fucking kidding me? Wow. I Guys, I can't believe this. Broadhead, will you piss off, please? Shit. Guys, I need to free... I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay, I've got a big brain idea. Check this out. Okay, we're going to try and pin it down again. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. These fucking broadheads. Jesus. Shoot, Aloy. God damn it. Unbelievable. Oh, now what? Now what? Seriously? Is this not working? Oh my god, guys, I don't believe this, man. Okay, shot something important, I think. Uh, can you come down, please? It's not working, guys. Oh my god, I don't believe this. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Okay, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh my god, he moved. Wait, someone's shooting him. Oh, I've got a helper. I've got a friend, guys. One, two. Come on, give me a triple shot. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Okay, what just happened? Okay, fine. We're level 31. Come on, Jesus. Guys, he's not getting pinned down like last time. All right, here's what we do. Sorry, give me a sec. Okay, I need to put back this. No, no, this, this, because I'm not using any wires right now. I'm trying to aim for... Oh my God, he's moving, Jesus. Okay, did that work? Guys, let's just try and get my start. Come on, come on! Alright, here we go. No, this arrow! Jesus, my freaking controller, man.
Guys, do we just kill it? <laughs> we did it! We actually did it! Not enough fight in this one. <laughs> Guys, we did it! Oh, wow. I'm so sorry if I was uh, shouting and swearing. I was raging. I was just in a panic. This thing was scary AF. And we did get some help. These culture soldiers helped me. I appreciate it. And um, <laughs> I'm speechless. We actually made it through. Hey, guys, that's my first ever uh, Stormbird. We actually made... Whoa! 120 shards. And look at these purplies. Guys, guys, are you shitting me? 60% handling. Are you shitting me? Oh, this is awesome, Lou. What about that? Okay, Stormbird Heart. Echo Shell. Chill Water. Shit tons of it. Blaze. And we got our trophy. Well deserved. <laughs> guys um yeah sorry the reason i was raging a lot was because those freaking striders or broadheads yeah they just you know try to mess with me while i'm fighting one of these super dangerous machines it was just ridiculous but hey guys you know this thing here um the rope caster i fucking love it it works it's very good the only thing is it wasn't um pinning him down afterwards Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm just... My adrenaline is so high right now, guys. Honestly. Okay, let me... Guys, I tell you what. I'm going to farm for some medicine. And we're going to go after that Thunderjaw. I wish I could tell you my confidence has increased. But I'm now scared to fight the Thunderjaw thing. But anyway, I'll be back shortly. Hey, guys. Okay, I've just looted a ton of... Um, medicine plants we're back up to full um just one thing actually give me a second i better do some full health potions i didn't make any okay let's make some they're very expensive goodness me <laughs> that's really expensive okay i've got two of these and health potions how are we doing i'll make one more okay fine now we need to teleport here <laughs> right this is where this is where i ran into one um, in the last episode. Do I want to teleport so close to it, though? Anyway, I'll see you there, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, it just saw me straight away. Uh, what? How are you? Piss off! What the... Guys, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Guys, I'm getting attacked by some losers. Oh, my God. Wow, I don't believe this. I teleported in. The Thunderjaw saw me. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. I don't want to fight these guys. Now they're running away. <laughs> Good piece of shit. All right, what about you? I'm out. <laughs> oh, no. No, please, Thunderjaw, please. Oh, crap. I don't know. I don't understand what's happening, guys. Guys, he's fight. He's fighting people. Let's look. There's a bandit there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is not what I expected. I teleported in, saying that yeah, I'm really nervous. You know the usual shit. And then um, these freaking bandits just spawned in. Hey, look, they're fighting the Thunderjaw. Let's see who wins. Obviously, it's going to be the Thunderjaw, right? Right, give me a sec. Oh, Jesus, guys, what do I do with that gun, man? We better tear blast. Not tear blast, tear ammo. Where's the other bandit? Is he run away? Guys, I'm so sorry about this. I didn't expect this at all. I, I, I actually do want to fight this thing. Oh, I could use my medicine. Alright, guys. Let me just go in here. Okay, there's a bandit there. Uh, Thunder can you not kill him? Oh, my God. God, he's stomping. He stomps. Uh, guys, I forgive me. I don't even know what to do here. Oh, 
Oh shit, please, please don't get too close, please. Alright, guys, I was reading... Look, just give me a second, I need to calm down. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, right, where's the thing for Thunderjaw? Where is it? Okay. Right, you know the guns, these, apparently I can use that against him. So we have to shoot that with tear. It's weakness, so... I need to get rid of the laser cannons on its face. Can you hurry up and kill that dude, my... Oh, wow. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Shit. Is he dead? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, wait, those are normal Carjo. All right, guys, 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 let's just fight. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about this. I'm just really scared. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's so scary. Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, we got it off with one of the guns. Let's get, get this one. Shit, shit. He was distracted for a bit, but... Guys, okay, he's frightening, but the music is sick. And he is really awesome. He is so awesome. No, I'll try to get his face cannons, but... Shit. Shit. Okay. Uh, well, guys, should we try the rope caster thing? Wait, one second. Look, I don't even know if this is going to work, so we'll try. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah, well, look, it did. It did. Okay, let's try and freeze him. Oh, my God, guys. He's hardly getting frozen. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This might not be a good strategy. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, please. Okay, let's uh, triple up a shot, I guess. Come on, come on, Aloy, please. <laughs> oh my god, he's so huge. Oh no, no, oh, bro, Jesus. Okay, he's got a weak point there, I think. No, please, no, please. Oh god, oh god, what's he doing? Oh, I've got no ammo, god damn it, god damn it. Guys, help me, please. Oh god, okay. All right, let's pin him down again. Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, okay. Did I work? All right, freeze him up again. Guys, guys, I tell you what. I've got an idea. Grab this. Oh, this is lame. This is that fire spear thing. Oh, that's lame, guys. <laughs> Guys, that is lame. I'm not using that ever again. That's shit. Oh, wait, I've got this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, check this out. We did it! <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> what a fight that was um thrilling this uh, look i have to admit i know you hear that i get really scared and shit because it's it is the hardest difficulty and i don't want to i don't want to suck guys you know there's people that watch the videos and stuff i, I just don't want to suck too much 
So it does make me nervous, you know. But I've got to say, this was a thrilling fight. This is probably the best fight I've had in this game so far. 155 metal shards, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at the loot. Look at the loot. This is sick. Oh my god. I'm a proud owner of a Thunder Jewel trophy. We get a shit ton of loot, man. 20 sparkers, chill water, blaze, eggshell. Very much like the storm bed. So these are the apex machines, right? Guys, we actually did it. No, I'm not going to lie. We did get a little bit of help. Um, you know those uh, Karja soldiers? They actually did help me. So, uh, hey, um, I'm trying to think of fighting this thing without the Thunderjaw gang, you know, distracted by other enemies. So, uh, anyway, I'm just out of breath. <laughs> Guys, my palms are sway. It's crazy, man. What a fight. It was thrilling. My first Thunderjaw and first Storm, uh, Stormbird. All right, guys, I'm going to see you back at, um, at Talana's. Look at this. He's so huge. And he's so cool as well. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Hey, guys, just a quick one. I found this. I'll read this out to you, and you'll meet me where Talana is. Okay, Tormented Giveaway. <laughs> what could this be? Right, Splatter Central is giving away passcodes to Tormented uh, 666. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Today's giveaway is sure to please diehard Tormentors. <laughs> passcodes to sneak past Tormented 666 free of charge. Experience the latest installment of Jono's seminal Splatter Hollow franchise uh, right alongside our review staff. Rumor is 666 is, uh, sorry, pause the gore. So grab one of 66 free passes by screaming, I want to get splattered <laughs> to Splat Sen Hollow. And ah, uh, I want to know more about this. Guys, th that sounds awesome. So it's a horror franchise, but you can participate in it. And it's all holographic. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is cool, guys. I'm really enjoying this game. I really am. Anyway, I'll see you at the Hunter's Lodge. Hey, guys. Okay, we just arrived at the Hunter's Lodge, but apparently we've got to speak to Assis. Um, let's speak to Legan because um, he... Well, we can tell him that we hunted the Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. What? Where are Assis and Talana? What? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Oh, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm, you might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Oh, sorry, guys. I wasn't trying to do that. I just wanted. Maybe upstairs. Um, what the hell? So, oh, let's open up a new side quest. Okay, guys, we're gonna do this in the next video. But that was thrilling. What a thrill! This is my favorite. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna tell you straight. This has been my favorite episode so far because of the Thunder Jaw and the Stormbird uh, fights. Thrilling. I'll tell you why they're thrilling and why I love them so much. If you know my channel, you know that I'm a Witcher 3 nut. I'm just crazy about the Witcher 3. And the other game I'm crazy about is Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. You can find both playthroughs on my channel. These fights were similar to a Monster Hunter fight. And I loved every minute of it. Scary, don't get me wrong, I was shit scared. You know, it's my first time fighting these two uh, machines. But it was thrilling. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, um, I'm sorry I spoke to Legan straight away. I just wanted to tell him about, hey, guess what? We killed a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. But if we had gone up there, I don't think... Um, we would have found a cease, obviously, and the game would have instructed us to speak to Legan, which is the right thing to do anyway. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. I need my adrenaline to come down. 
and uh, I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Apparently, we're going to hunt Redmore. So I'll speak to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.